Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. My name is Sansa Fon, and if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified each and every time I upload new tutorials to my channel. If you're all member, you're welcome back. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you on how to sew a cow neck dress step by step. So if you want to know how I do this, keep on watching. Please, please, before we continue, don't forget to follow my Instagram page. I'm going to link it somewhere around here. Feel free to tag me on Instagram page on anything you make so I'll be able to repost your project. Thank you so much. Here is the fabric I'm going to be using for today's project. As you can see, it's a soft satin fabric or you can call it, we call it silk fabric, okay? And uh, I'm, as you can see, I just went ahead to check which side is the most stretchy. Then I fold my fabric towards that side that is stretched, okay? Because I'm not going to be adding any zipper. Then if you check at this top part, what I did was to fold the top part inside. That's because I want to cut the dress and the lining of the top part at once okay once i'm done making sure everything is straight and nice i'll just go ahead to place in my pattern on it then i'll go ahead now to pin it up when i'm done pinning i'll go ahead to cut that after cutting next thing i'm going to do is i'll still go ahead now to fold in my fabric again into two then i will place my fabric but before i place my fabric on top i'll go ahead to fold this top part like that that's because we are cutting the back of this dress not the front okay so once i'm done folding i'll go ahead now to place it about three inch away from the top part i'm going to be using that top part for the lining as well like this okay when i'm done uh, cutting next thing i'll do now is to go ahead i'll start uh, pinning everything up right i'm going to go ahead now i'll pin the the main piece and the lining together when i'm done pinning i'll take it to the machine i'm going to stitch i'll stitch like this okay and here are my straps that i create i just measure my bra how long my bra straps are i cut one inch by how long my bra is and I, when i need to fold up zero two five in what press it up then we took it to the machine and we stitch that up when you stitch it you have something like this so now i'm going to go ahead now to stitch the lining and the front piece together once i'm done stitching this is what we have and we go ahead now to flip it to the right side make sure i push everything outside then i will go ahead to press it up to lay it flat now, now we the have back. the back what piece I'm going to do here is, what we're going to do is we're to going to like mark that's to notch the center to notch the back the piece like this. once we are done then, uh, notching it we'll I'm go I'm ahead here, to measure five inch to the right and five inch to the left this is where i'm going to place my straps I'll also do the same thing here. Yeah. Then I'll pin my straps. Now, when I'm done pinning, I'll take my lining from the back. Lining lining from the back. I'm going to place on top and I stitch. Oh, I first of all go ahead to pin it up. Then I'll take it to the machine and stitch. So when I'm done stitching, so once I'm done stitching, this is what I have. I'm going to, I'm going to go so ahead to now, fold about half way. inch and press it with the iron board, board to lay that flat. Then I'll take so it again and help it. Now, as you can see, this is the front of the dress and the lining that I went ahead to press that. I also did the same thing. And here, I also press this up to lay flat. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'll go ahead to just hem it on the top here. Next thing I'm going to hem it all the way to I get to the other end as well. Once I'm done hemming it, this so, is uh, I would this is what I have to so I'm going to take it now. I'll be joining it to like this. The next thing I'm going to do is front. I'm going to take up this piece here. 
Now, this is I want right you to side. place the right, the right side. side. I'm going to be placing the right mm. side facing I'll each other. Here. Now. Put this right side. This is right side. Right side facing right side. So first of then all, then I'll go ahead I'll come to here pin like this. I'm going to grab this the side seams together. Pin. After pinning, I will take it to the machine. I'm going to stitch. I'll take it to the machine now. I will stitch, stitch about stitch half all the inch way. away. Yeah. Remember, I do not add any like uh, zipper allowance. No, that's what you do now. Just come here. So now, what straps, I'm going to do, I went ahead to open yes. about one inch okay. here at this top part. I'll just take my strap, make sure these straps are straight. Then I'll put this inside this? here. I will pin that up like this. I'm going to pin it up okay. like this. Then I'll go ahead to pin it all the way like this till I get here. I'll do the same thing to the other side as well. Just pin it and pin the armhole of the dress, okay? Once I'm done pinning, I'll just take and stitch half an inch away. I'm going to put my needle down, then leave the sewing machine feed, then I turn it, then I put the sewing machine feed down. Okay, once I'm done that uh, stitching, I'll go ahead to notch and flip this out to the right side. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is I'll do the same thing to the other side, okay? Next, Next thing, thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this the back this piece. I'm going to right put here, it right this. in here. And make sure everything mashes part. up together. Then I'll kind Making of sure flip the lining this with the back this. together and I'll go ahead to pin it up. Then I'll stitch. So after, after stitching all the way straight so down, yeah. we're going to now to what flip this like do? this first of all go ahead to trim up any trim excess uh, then i'll flip yeah. it and flip this like this like so when you flip it this is what you should have you have something like this okay i'll simply do the same thing to the other side as well i remember this is the right time for you mm -hmm. to go ahead to zigzag it or overlock uh, it once I'm done doing so, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll go move to the downer part. I'm going to hem it and we're almost done. We've done the... I'm just going to fold half inch here like this. And half inch and I'm, I'll hem it and I'm done. I'll put it on to show you what it look like. Make sure you give it a finish press look for it to be really give you that professional look you want okay look like something like this so let me go ahead to put it on so this is what it looked like on me i hope you all love this tutorial do not forget to give me a thumbs up like comment and share i hope to see you on my next project bye bye